Dear brothers and sisters, in the most important prayer, the Lord's Prayer, the Lord is teaching us to pray uh, to God not to lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. So this is so important for us not to be led into temptation. And also the words of Apostle Paul that the whole world is sitting in the evil. This is telling us that most people, they have been already pulled into this temptation, into this darkness. And uh, for us to escape this darkness would require miracle from God. Otherwise, we are doomed to sit in darkness. We are doomed to sit in this, in some form of temptation, in some form of deceit. And today I want to say uh, about myth, which is a very popular topic in uh, philosophy, in social uh, thought in 20th century, in the 21st century. Uh, and uh, this idea of myth <coughs> is bringing us to uh, some very fundamental question about uh, what is reality, what is real and what is not real. And uh, usually we think that uh, myth is something, uh, it's like a fairy tale, it's, it's uh, something made up, okay, some fantasy. Well, in reality it's not a fantasy, okay, and uh, <coughs> this, uh, this also brings us to this topic of uh, uh, matrix and uh, okay, living in this fake reality. Well, all these topics are related uh, in some sense. Okay. And today I want to uh, share with you some thoughts about uh, why uh, we're experiencing now all these wars. And uh, just recently uh, my relative was, uh, was killed in, in, in this war. And uh, this great pain uh, brings me also to consider uh, deeply uh, what does it mean to believe in a myth, okay? uh, to be part of this myth which leads people to death, both uh, physical and spiritual. And uh, moreover, these myths, they, uh, they come at different levels, okay? There is a uh, okay, global level, uh, society, uh, some group, of, okay, some target groups, uh, individuals. Okay, there are different myths. Some myths, they transcend different levels. Okay, uh, but um, before I get into this, I want to um, I want to share with you um, what uh, what is the nature of myth. Okay, what is the core uh, nature and who is producing all these myths? Okay. Uh, well, the nature of myth uh, is uh, uh, not that it's just some made-up story. Okay. But this is some kind of interpretation of some physical phenomena. Uh, for example, in the 20th century, we know this uh, uh, big phenomenon, phenomenon of socialism. Okay? Um, of course, uh, uh, the workers, they had many problems. Okay? And some people, they came and said, you know who is the reason of your problems? Okay? The, the reason is the cause, okay, are those exploiters, those uh, bourgeois, those capitalists, okay, they exploit you and here is the reasons and they provide scientific uh, sociology uh, framework that explains all those, you know, classes, this fighting because, be, between classes and all those, all that uh, garbage, okay, that uh, they provide because this doesn't, uh, um, it, it doesn't exist, okay, um, these systems. They are made up simplifications of something that's happening, okay? And it, it was proven uh, that uh, this doesn't match reality. But it can, um, uh, it can uh, have an um, appearance of explaining this reality, okay? In some countries, in some settings, it may seem as though this is the reality, okay, this whole story. 
but in reality it's just a, a made-up uh, interpretation of something that's happening out there okay and people they receive this uh, uh, socialism or nazism or uh, capitalism even the word capitalism is not uh, something that uh, is objectively out there okay it's also a, a mental framework that is made up for explaining some phenomena. Uh, so <clears throat> these different isms, okay, these different uh, uh, different uh, frameworks, they created so much pain, so much uh, suffering in the 20th century. The First World War was because of nationalism and uh, imperialism. Okay, and, and other things okay, which uh, led countries and nations into war, into destroying each other. <clears throat> and, um, and later we have so many different other examples, okay? um, up till now, all the way until now. Um, well, these days you may tell me that, uh, well, you see, uh, now we have learned all those lessons, okay? we're not going to become uh, radicalists uh, like those uh, Nazi or uh, or something else, okay? those revolutionaries who who uh, who shed rivers of blood and stuff like that. We are not going to do that. We are not going to use uh, uh, red terror or other forms of uh, okay uh, totalitarian um, regimes. Okay, we we don't want this. We learned all these lessons. Well, I can tell you that we haven't learned anything. Uh, there is a uh, there is a, uh, a misconception. Okay, we think that now we believe in money. We believe in physical stuff. We believe that we can buy this, we can buy that. Okay, uh, we can earn money here. We can uh, have our savings, and this is what is real. Okay, and I don't care about politics. I don't care about um, some some social doctrines. Uh, okay, just leave me alone. Okay, I just uh, I pay my taxes. Okay, I just exist. Okay, I want freedom. I want to be who I am. I don't want to be um, uh, I don't know anarchist or uh, socialist or uh, uh, something else. Okay, Dem Democrat. I don't want all these those th uh, things. Okay, just leave leave me alone. Well. Um, if you have this mindset, uh, you are not going to get a freedom, okay? You will become a spiritual slave. You will be brainwashed and enslaved, okay? And I will explain why. Um, well, first of all, let us uh, see uh, what is reality. Because uh, I just mentioned that uh, uh, different myths now they call uh, narratives. Okay, there, there was a book by uh, Klaus Schwab, The Great Narrative. Okay, and he is telling okay now everything is going to be about this narrative. Okay, this uh, ecolo ecology and uh, uh, okay inclusive capitalism and all other things, digitalization. Well, uh, this is just another ism. Okay, this is just another ideology. This is uh, another form of propaganda. Uh, another myth, if you will. The thing is that uh, any kind of myth is related to some real phenomenon. Okay, he's just tell, taking some phenomenon and trying to explain it in a comprehensive way, in a simple to understand way. Okay, that will be uh, just uh, explaining. Okay, why this works like this? Okay, and uh, who are the good guys and who are the bad guys? Okay, and it will exploit your own um, uh, demons, if you will, uh, of uh, selfishness, self-righteousness, self-reliance, okay, self-pity. Uh, it will exploit self-interest. It will exploit all these interests to make you uh, accept this uh, framework, this myth. And, um, and other people, they will receive another version of this myth, or another myth. And they will have a myth that you are the bad guy. 
and they need to go and destroy you. And different people will live according to these myths and people will destroy each other, okay? And we see tons of examples, okay? Now the world is getting into all kinds of wars between countries, civil wars, all kinds of wars, okay? Within families, people divide. Even this ideology of consumerism is another myth that makes uh, families divide and, and people sue each other, okay, in one family. They quarrel, even they kill each other. Because of what? Because of some uh, story that if you have a lot of money, you will buy this, you will buy something else, you will buy a, a Mercedes Benz and you will show it to your girlfriend and this will make you feel happy and so forth and so on. All this uh, crazy stuff, just crazy nonsense, okay? But people believe this and they spend all their uh, money, all their lives for some fake uh, goal and they will even ready to kill their relatives to achieve that goal. Okay, <clears throat> so, uh, so myth is dangerous because it's not uh, separate from reality. It's related to reality. It's some kind of um, story about this reality. But the storyteller is a devil himself. And this is why he is called the devil. In Greek is uh, Diabolos. Diablo, right? In uh, Spanish. And uh, Diabolos or Diabolos uh, it comes from the verb uh, Diavalo. Diavalo is to, uh, the direct translation is to slander. Um, okay, but it's uh, uh, it's more, it's a wider meaning than just slander, okay? Uh, diavalo is to throw through. Valo is to throw and dia is uh, through. So it's like uh, throwing meanings, okay? From here to there, okay? And what this is what they do, okay? They throw a meaning onto something. And actually slander by itself is also uh, this uh, storytelling, okay? You, you say, okay, you saw that person, he went into that uh, um, building, do you know why he goes there? He goes there to meet with uh, uh, some uh, crooks or to do some immoral activities, this is why he went into this building. And you believe that and, uh, okay, and you hate that, that, that person and so forth. So. <clears throat> This is uh, some kind of uh, this is some kind of devil scheme that uh, that's working. Um, so uh, just to be sure, any myth that is out there is coming from the devil, okay? And there is no myth that is an orthodox myth, okay? Even when some people tell you that there is. Some. Okay, some people are attack, t telling about some uh, Moscow, the Third Rome, or some other myth, uh, Byzantine, or something else. Okay, uh, th those myths, uh, they are also coming from the devil. Even when they call them orthodox, okay, and they bring to uh, destruction and suffering of millions of people. And the Lord uh, Jesus Christ did not participate in that uh, uh, myth that great Israel now has to capture, recapture the uh, promised land and now uh, has, to, has to gain uh, the world power. The, the Lord did not participate in that, uh, in that myth. So now we're coming to the question, what is reality? What is reality? Because reality is not what you can touch. Okay, it's not what you can measure with some instruments scientifically. Okay, uh, reality, uh, well, these things, they are real, but uh, just relatively, okay. Uh, their impo importance, importance is not absolute, okay, anything. Yes, it's physical, it exists, yes, it does, but it's not so valuable. It's not so uh, meaningful for the world unless it is re related to spiritual reality. And this is where things are important. And what is this spiritual reality? It is what we grasp 
from the Lord himself. Take up your cross and follow me. Collect the treasures in heaven. Those treasures are much more real than treasures in this world, than a new iPhone or whatever, a Mercedes-Benz, Lamborghini, and so forth. The treasures in heaven, those are the reality. And this is why the Lord says, what to eat, what to drink. Don't worry, okay? Seek first and foremost the kingdom of heaven and its truth. And everything else will be given to you, will be attached, will be added on to you. Okay? So your goal has to be in the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness and the truth. And because this is objective, this is the reality it itself. Lord, he is the reality himself. And uh, of course, we are not uh, monophysites. We, we don't, um, we're not uh, gnostics who, who rejected this world. No, no, we, we, uh, we know this world uh, also carries the Lord's blessing. However, uh, we need to see the priorities. Okay? And uh, when we see these priorities in the right way, uh, the Lord will make us avoid all those myths, all those, uh, uh, all those um, fake narratives, okay, uh, that are uh, imposed upon us, okay, With it, that we see in the news, that we read in the in the in the magazines, okay, that uh, every person is carrying in their head, okay, whomever we meet, our family members, they have all these in their heads. But we have to be uh, um, immune from all this uh, fake reality, fake uh, narratives, uh, fake interpretations, because they come from the devil. He wants people to die. He, he, he does. He wants their souls to be destroyed. He is giving this narrative that to you, a okay, childless family, or uh, no family, or this... Uh, sodomite uh, rights or other things okay these are fakes the human are endowed with some uh, uh, basic rights so this is also a, a myth okay of course when people live by this myth it becomes uh, becomes a reality but this this reality is um, okay is a uh, uh, okay something um, relative built upon something relative okay so it's relative upon relative it's it's even less real so let us uh, know about all this uh, uh, deceit that's coming from the devil let us uh, cling to christ put effort into spiritual life uh, emphasize um, this the treasures in heavens and not to uh, depend not to crave for anything that is relative, that is uh, that belongs to this world, and that makes us slaves, enslaves the whole world, and uh, kills, destroys human souls and human bodies and human lives. May the Lord help us and give us His blessing, and give us His wisdom, and keep us in His holiness. I mean, God bless. You.